Today I'm gonna be showing you how I remade Pizza Tower's final boss fight in Mario Maker 2 using some of the best mechanics I've ever made. Let's get into it. If you've never played Pizza Tower before, it's basically a 2D platforming game inspired from the Wario Land series. The goal is to get to the top of a tower to prevent the explosion of Peppino's Pizzeria, who is actually the main character of the game. So, just like for all my other bosses, my first step was finding the correct game style and the correct theme. I chose Mario World because in Pizza Tower you can actually pick up enemies and use them as weapons by throwing them in the air, and well, in the Mario World style you can do exactly that. Finding the right theme was a little tricky. In Pizza Tower, the boss takes place in this sort of castle which doesn't look like any of the Mario Maker 2 themes. I ended up using the ghost house as I thought it was the closest I could get to the original game. And now it's time to build the first phase. As always, I started by making an arena with walls on each side. To make these rat enemies, I added a Bill Blaster that shot Mecha Koopas, which you could then use to hit the pizza face with. For the boss itself, my first idea was to use the Angry Sun because he looked and acted similarly to the pizza face boss. However, I quickly scrapped this idea since the Angry Sun could be defeated in one single hit, making the boss way too easy. To fix that issue, I spawned a big boom boom and gave him wings so he would fly across the arena just like pizza face. I also added a Lakitu which would add another layer of difficulty. And at this point, the first phase was pretty much done. However, there was one big issue. You see, when you hit Boom Boom for the first time, you can just wait for him to get back on his feet and jump on his head again, and that makes the boss way too easy and cheesable. So to fix that issue, I used... BUMPERS! And that's because in Mario Maker 2, bumpers allow enemies to go through them, but not Mario. So, I placed a bunch of bumpers all over the arena, which actually prevented Mario from cheesing the level. And now the first phase was almost done. You see, in the original game, Pizza Face has a total of 8 hit points while Boom Boom only has 3. So to fix that problem, I copy-pasted the arena so that you would have to hit Boom Boom 6 times instead of 3. I also added another Lucky 2 that this time spawned Monty Moles, which added some more challenge to the boss. And now I can safely say that the first part was done. Moving on to Pizza Head's phase, I started by placing a Fire Flower because in the original game you are given a gun and the Fire Flower replaces it perfectly. Then I added a Lakitu that shot spike balls which were meant to replace these rolling obstacles. For the boss itself, I used a Bowser Jr as his movement was pretty similar to Pizza Head's. I also stacked a big monster on top of him, forcing Mario to use his gun in order to defeat him. For the TV attack, I used a big winged lava bubble and placed it on the top right of the arena so that it would bounce in the middle. I added some more lava bubbles at the bottom to replicate this enemy attack. And that was pretty much the second phase done. But once again, there was one huge issue. Whenever Bowser Jr. got in his shell, it was almost impossible to jump over him without getting hit, making the boss not fun to play at all. To fix the problem, I added donut platforms which you could use to jump over Bowser Jr. They also acted as indicators for the lava bubbles. And now, Pizza Head's part was done. For the third phase, I started by going in the night ground theme, and now I know exactly what you're thinking. But Masai, why didn't you use the Airship Night theme? And that's because in the Airship Night variation, everything but Mario becomes floatier, making every obstacle way too easy to avoid. So using that theme was not a good option here. Anyways, in the original boss, your goal in this phase is to wait for the right time to land as many punches as you can on Pepperman, which is similar to the final boss fight from Super Mario Odyssey. To replicate this in Mario Maker 2, I wanted to give Mario a dry bone shell, which he could then use to hit Bowser with. The problem with this idea is that if you ground pound on Bowser using the dry bone shell, you can cheese the whole boss by defeating him in one single hit. Surprisingly enough, I found a mechanic that fixed the problem on my very first attempt. First, I started by building Pepperman on the side of the arena and added one-way walls so Mario couldn't get onto him. Then I added a track circuit under the arena's ground and placed a Bowser on it. I then replaced the first layer of the ground by on-off switches. To finish everything up, I added a ceiling of munchers placed on top of red on-off blocks. And now whenever Mario tried to dunk on Bowser, an army of munchers would then instantly fall and crush his soul. I also gave Bowser the boxing sound effect so that it looks like you are punching him. Finally, I added a Monty Mold to replace the actual Peppermint. I also added an old block on tracks under the arena to make his movement more unpredictable. Since I couldn't give Bowser a key due to the fact that he was placed on tracks, I added a clear condition forcing Mario to defeat every single Bowser in order to be able to touch the goal pole. And now, I was almost done recreating the full boss. 
For the fourth phase, I took the mechanic from the Peppermint part and this time made it cover the whole arena. To recreate this chaotic environment, I added a Ludwig and a Bowser Jr. which were both protected by munchers. Once again, Bowser had to be defeated in order to finish the clear condition. And now it's time to build the final phase. In Pizza Tower, Pizza Head comes back and is now able to punch you using his boxing gloves. To make this in Mario Maker 2, I placed a boom boom under a bridge and added two chain chomps on top of a muncher to make the boxing attack. And since there was no way to defeat this boss, I added a timer above the arena which would then give Mario a key if he survived for long enough. I finished by adding a pipe which led to the end of the level. The only thing left to do was to try to beat it, and because I had the clear condition, I couldn't put any checkpoints, meaning I had to complete the full level in one go. Before I show you my run, I would like to ask you to like and subscribe to my channel, as only about 3% of my viewers end up subscribing to me. Anyways, enjoy! Yeah. 